everyone, welcome to Random Access Megan. I am Megan. Today what I'm going to go over is eyebrow tinting. I've actually never done it myself. Uh, so this is going to be interesting on how it turns out. I have gotten professionally done. Um, however, this will be the first time that I will complete it. I am wearing um, crummy clothes because I am the messiest person in the whole wide world. And I probably shouldn't be doing this in a white bathroom. However, this is the best bright light that I have. So if I lean in and look, it's because I'm looking at the mirror right there too. I'm trying to look in there, but you know. So um, what I'm going to use for my home tinting is the Goad Free Tint Kit for spot coloring. Um, why I decided to use this is because it was on Amazon and it had a ton of good reviews. And so I'm just one of those people, if it has a ton of good reviews, then it must be worth something. It wasn't that expensive. I'll put all the specs down below so that you can check it out as well as like a direct link. Um, of course, I paid for this myself because I'm trying to find ways to save on beauty. Clearly, I like beauty. Um, I took off my makeup too, so I might be a little blotchy. I did put lotion on after I washed my face, but I skipped the eyebrow area. Um, I'm all over the place right now, so I'm really, truly winging this. One second. Okay, so in the package comes uh, these capsules with dye, a little angle brush, a little cup, um, a little caution to do a little test of your skin. Um, and beware, you might dye your skin because it's dye. Anyways. Um, and developer. So I'm just going to follow the instructions of what they say, but before I mix this, I'm going to put Vaseline around my eyebrows. Now, only reason why I'm doing this, because the directions do not tell me to do this, is because my skin soaks up dye so easily that even when I get my brows done professionally, they, um, I get dye like all over, even if they're like the cleanest beautician. So what they recommended, be, I think it's because I do have such dry skin, they recommended um, petroleum jelly, so they started doing it for me. Um, I'm okay with it. It is the weirdest feeling in the world, um, but I'm going to do a, just a little bit right here and right here, but I'm not gonna get close to my hair. The reason why is because um, the dye won't cling if you have oil in your eyebrows, so my eyebrows are nice and clean. Um, and I'm just gonna do this really quick. And this is gonna be a little difficult for me because, again, I'm not the cleanest person in the world. And so this is gonna be super interesting. But I'm one of those people that likes to find ways to cut costs, especially things that I feel I need in my daily life, which I really don't need this in my daily life, but you know, girls are weird, girl problems. So I'm trying to be quick so that you don't just stare at me doing this. Okay, so I really barely touched my hairline because I just, I don't want to mix up oils and stuff. But what I'm going to do is a practice that the beautician used to do as the dye sits. I'm going to clean up the area with Vaseline. So anyways, I am going to use this little teeny cup to mix uh, my dye. So you have a pack of little dye capsules. I'm gonna to try to speed this up because I don't wanna be a boring video. And what in the world 
I'm confused. It does say break it open, but it's not breaking. Wah! Empty entire contents. Okay, I feel like this should be easier. Oh, got it. Ooh, and I spilled everywhere. See, told you. Okay, so that is a lot of dye. So emptied the capsule. And then da -da 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 -da. and it says uh it says like a quarter teaspoon. Okay, so clearly I'm not following instructions because I didn't measure it. So, um, oops. And wow, this is not mixing very easily. Um, <gasps> wow. I hope my husband does not watch this video. Oh my God, I'm gonna get in so much trouble. I am like a child and mess new things up all the time because I'm messy and I'm okay with it. Just some people are not. I'm too free spirited. I'm so sorry. I just wanted to show you how I was going to go about doing this, but this is taking a lot of time. Okay. So I used way too much developer, so I'm probably going to, yeah. But it's a cream. It's done. I'm going to clean up the glob that's on the floor, so BRB. Okay, back. All right. So clearly you realize I'm not the cleanest person in the world. So this is going to be super interesting if I can color in the lines, which coloring was not a strong suit for me either because I have zero patience. You know what? I should use a little spoolie. Can you tell I'm winging this? Spooly. Let's clean this up. Of course, after I Vaseline the crap out of my brows. So I'm gonna try to use a little bit at a time because I really don't want this to be all over my skin. And I'm just gonna be very patient doing this and I am they say outline your brow first but as you can tell I don't have much on the tail end so it's really just like putting a few lines um so I'm gonna go through this and then come back so you see that right there okay one second Okay, I'm back. I got one brow done. As you can see, I went a little crazy on the tail end. So I'm going to clean up with Q-tips. This is a trick that I learned from the beautician that used to do my brows. Um, if I can't figure this out, she'll continue to do my brows. But as you can see, a huge difference between the two. I've been pretty patient. It only took me about two minutes to do this. And I'm just gonna... kinda go over it because they say make sure you do like roots. Yeah. And I'm trying really hard not to put a ton in the thickest part of my brow because I really don't want to look like argh, mega woman. So I'm going to start on this brow, which is my least favorite brow. I have a little scar right here, so it's like jagged. It's going to take a little concentration, so I'll be right back. Give me a minute. 
So it says to, um, wow, one looks bigger than the other. So that's awesome. Hopefully it's just angles um, because in the mirror they don't look different. Um, it says to let it sit for two minutes. So I am going to do that. Um, I'm not going to cake this on way too much because if it's not dark enough, I'm going to just wipe it off and then do another round. My goal, it says some of the bloggers that have used this, they said that, um, or have done their own tent, not necessarily this brand. They said that they do it every week and I don't want to do that. I want to do probably once every four weeks, which is what I've, um, done when I get these professionally done. And I know it looks super scary looking, but when I get it professionally done, I look scarier. So I'm cool with this. I can't believe I'm cleaner at doing this than the professionals, but we'll see. I mean, you never know what the final product is. So I'm gonna give it two minutes um, there's so much left over. I'll try to show you. Um, there's like two big glops. So I am going to wait for two minutes and then come back. Okay, I'm back. Um, two minutes went by pretty quickly. So what I have is a, a wet rag. It's super gross and old, so don't judge me. But since this is dye, I really don't want to ruin uh, new towels that I got. Um, so let's start cleaning this off. It's just water, no soap, nothing. Oh my gosh, this actually, I'm impressed with my skills right now, wow. I mean, it's not like super dark, but you can see my eyebrows. Mom, I'm a beautician! Don't tell her that, she wouldn't be happy. Actually, she would. <laughs> now that I think about it, she might be quite impressed with my skills. Um, or maybe I'm the only one. I actually might not do another set. I don't want them to look like Gigantor. I want them to look still natural. And this is, wow, what was that? Um, wow, I'm super impressed. Um, two minutes, I painted them on. I lined it with Vaseline. Um, it's red because I was pressing really hard. I want all the dye off. And I like them. Uh, the next video I'm going to do in a few days uh, for the Fashion Week Roundup so when I come back, you'll see me with makeup on and see my, my eyebrows. I'll point them out. Um, but if you found that this video was helpful, please share and like it. And of course, subscribe to Random Access Megan. Until next time. Bye, guys.